What's good with the YouTube? Fight fans all over the world. It's your boy, the realest of the real. Yes, sir, I said it, Real Talk Boxing. It is a privilege and honor and a major blessing to be back with you beautiful people yet again. We're going to continue to push out content no matter what. Callum Smith versus Artur Beterbiev. Fights tomorrow, right? Well, I, I, I just so happen to have a predict, prediction on that fight. And... um a lot of people are giving Smith a really good chance of winning this fight because of a couple of things. Better be is almost four years old. He's coming off a surgery, and people think that he's slowing down. Well, there's some truth to all three of those things. And um, I do give Callum Smith a chance to win this fight. Just not a good one. See, I, on the other hand, feel like Better Biev is going to run away with this fight. And, and I'm going to explain to you why. First off, let's talk about Smith. And, of course, I got to talk about the Canelo fight. Now, I know Canelo and Better Biev is... They're, they're two different fighters, right? But here's how the fight went when Canelo fought Smith. First of all, Smith is 6'3", and they were very generous on the night of the fight when he fought Smith with Canelo, stating that he was 5'9". I don't think Canelo's 5'9". They were being generous. So he had a heck of a reach advantage and a height advantage. I'm talking about by a wide margin. But he failed to use that. He didn't fight tall. He didn't use his reach. He didn't gauge his distance. He was on his back foot the whole night. The whole night, Canelo pressured him in a very intelligent way. It wasn't just bull rushing in and mauling his way in. He was very strategic. Now, to me, there's one reason and one reason only why a taller fighter with a longer reach doesn't gauge his distance and doesn't use his reach or his height. It's because they fight and scared. Smith was on his back foot the whole night because he was afraid of Canelo Alvarez. He did not fight with confidence whatsoever, and he did not like that pressure. And what did Canelo do? At will. At ease. Now, I will say this about Smith. I, I think he's a really good counterpuncher. And he looks a lot bigger and a lot stronger at light heavyweight. Well, of course, he's supposed to. But I don't think that's going to change his mentality when it versus... Um, when he's faced with a fighter who's very aggressive. Because to me, he just gave up in the Canelo fight, just shut down, you know, and let Canelo fight at a pace that he's used to and didn't use that reach at all or that counterpunching ability. Uh, Smith is not a horrible fighter. Don't get me wrong. I mean, he was he was champion for a reason. Nice jab, nice counterpunching. Um Ability to fight really, really decent on the inside to be a long, rangy fighter. But when it comes to pressure, he folds, in my honest opinion. So now let's get to Better Biev. Y'all like that accent? <laughs> um, he's also an aggressive fighter. Um, but is this is it the same type of aggression as Canelo Alvarez? No. No. I, I think I think technically Canelo is more sound. I think he's a lot more strategic and smart about his aggression. Better Biev is just a straightforward type fighter, a tank, and he's able to get hit. You know, watching this fight against Yard, Yard was able to tag him quite a bit coming in, and I think Callum Smith will be able to do the same thing, tag him a couple of times coming in, but I think he's going to be so busy on the back foot that those punches aren't going to mean anything. Now, it doesn't go to say that... Um, Better be of can't run into anything that he doesn't see is very possible. But I think the sheer pressure, the power, the strength, and the power punches, and the straightforward uh, aggression style that Better Be of has is going to have Smith in the same type of mode that he was in against Canelo Alvarez. Even though Canelo was a lot smarter and I think a lot more technical than Better Be of. Better Biev is just strong, and he has a will 
of iron and he's not going to stop coming forward. And, and I think as soon as Smith tastes better be his power, I think he's going to shut down and fold just like he did against Canelo Alvarez. And I think it could possibly be a worse beating um, he'll take from Better BF than Canelo because Better BF is taller, stronger, um, and hits hard. Hits very hard, but he is susceptible to getting hit. Um, a lot of people think, including uh, Eddie Hearn, says he's going to knock Better BF spark out. Say that Callum Smith is going to knock Better BF out. Now, we all know it's boxing and it's possible. Do I see that? No, whatsoever. And I could be wrong about all this. Callum Smith might come in and just wipe the floor with better BF. I just don't think so. You know, I don't think the age and, and the surgery is going to play a huge factor in this fight. Uh, it may, but I just don't think it will. I believe Callum Smith is going to fold just like he did against Canelo Alvarez, especially facing a fist fighter like better BF. That is my opinion, my take, my prediction on the fight. Better be if by stoppage or knockout, I would say inside seven rounds, seven rounds at the latest. What's your opinion? Comment down below. Let your boy Real Talk know. As always, respect all fear none. God bless us. The next time, Real Talk Boxing, I'm up and I'm out of here. Bang.